An article linked up on Mark13news.com for January 13th, 2023 under the headline The Brzezinski Doctrine, NATO vs. Russia and Ukraine says although Brzezinski is dead, his work is very much alive. The Biden administration follows Brzezinski's geostrategic blueprint which supports Ukraine militarily, logistically, diplomatically, and politically. The big new Brzezinski's son, Mark Brzezinski, serves as the United States ambassador to Poland and helps his superiors implement his father's geostrategic vision on the ground, thanks to which the Ukrainian army is still standing and is capable of not only repelling the Russian offensive, but actually launching a successful counteroffensive. And on the last page of his 1997 book, The Grand Chessboard, Brzezinski called for an eventual upgrading of the existing and increasingly antiquated UN structures and the United Nations is, in my opinion, the great horn of the he-goat written of in Daniel chapter 8 verse 8, with the he-goat itself being symbolic of the shadow government of the Kenites, which is at this time split into two warring factions, the multipolaris as opposed to the unipolaris, and once the great horn of the he-goat gets broken, the four beasts of Daniel chapter 7 will emerge at the woe of the fifth trumpet as the so-called New World Order, which is the one world political system written of in Revelation 13, which will then receive a deadly wound, after which Satan will appear as the Antichrist at the woe of the sixth trumpet, which is when the one world political system will become a one world religious system, and then two and a half months later, the true Christ will return at the woe of the seventh trumpet. And as the true Christ says in the last verse of Mark chapter 13, what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch.